Well, let's um, learn a little bit about effects, layer effects, and um, it's very easy in Photoshop Elements, and it's something that you could spend probably the rest of your life on, especially if you like cool-looking stuff, um, which unfortunately I do. So anyway, um, I have this picture open, this guy, and um, so what I'm going to do is sort of mess around with him a little bit through various types of effects. And um, so first thing I have to do is select layer. And then I go up and I can select different types of effects. I have my effects panel open, which you can open in the window menu. But then, um, so we'll start with filters. And so here are some different kinds of filters you can use. And the way you apply them, one way, is you can just click on them and then click on apply. And then you get a really interesting effect, not a very I don't think it's a real great one, but I do. And so let's go, I'm going to go back and the history and uh, try some other effects. And so see, I can click on it. I can double click and that will apply it. Now that's a pretty cool one. That's a cutout effect. Then there's a dry brush effect, for example, etc. And so I can go through and double click on all these and get all kinds of different effects. And they also will multiply. So if I click on two of them, it'll put the combined uh, effect of two, two of these effects. Okay, so that's one way to uh, apply effects. Now if you want to do it in a more systematic manner, you can go to the um, filter panel. Now this when I use the word effects it's I don't want to be misleading. There's different types of effects. These in particular are called filters. And one of the biggest differences, they all kind of work similarly in the effect panel, but they all differ in terms of how much you can edit them. And the filters you can edit uh, quite a bit. But let's say um, the way I do this is I can go to filter gallery and when I say edit I mean you can apply the effect and then you can change it to different degrees. So uh, say I click on colored pencil and so I get a colored pencil effect. Now the first thing is I have these different controls up here. I can change the width of the pencil which changes the picture, the stroke pressure which changes the picture, etc. brightness. And then I can even um, uh, select another one and then I can look at it. Now and then I can again mess with the different characteristics of this. That's kind of one of my favorites by the way, this uh, cutout effect. Um, but now if I want to do them cumulatively I can't just double click because then that'll just show me a different effect. But I can go down here, There's it's like layers of filters and add a new effect layer. And so now what I do though is with that selected I can use, I can click a different layer and and so now I have both a dry brush and a cutout effect and if I want to get rid of the cutout just to preview it I can unclick it and um, same thing with the dry brush. You can use a little eyeball thing. You even get a slightly different effect depending on which one's in front. So you can do cumulative effects and you can play with all these details and you can do that forever as you can imagine just on the layers and we haven't even looked at all the different layer effects that you can experiment with. So that's two different ways to apply um, these different types of um, filters uh, which is one type of effect. So I'm just going to click on cancel and then we're back to our original image. Okay, well now another kind of effect is what's called um, layer styles. And the layer styles you can also edit. Now here's, note on all these, there's this menu for the main type of effect and then there's all these different categories. So here's an interesting one called Chrome. And um, so now I can double click or either click and click apply. So I double click on this and that's a really interesting effect. Now. Um, these are, are not cumulative. You can only use one of these in a category at a time. But you can do multiple categories. So I'm going to go to strokes, put a green effect. <laughs> this is getting way out of hand. Photographic and uh, put a purple something. Um, in fact, let's see what that would look like just by itself. I went back in the history 
and so it just makes me a little purple. But so now let's say I want to edit them. In fact, just to make it uh, show you how powerful this is, let's put something else in there like outer glow and make me green on the outside. Didn't seem to do much. Um, but maybe orange, well that did a little more. Okay, so now it, as opposed to the filters where you have to go to the filter menu, the filter gallery, in this case we go we just go to the layer itself and you can double click on this FX button and this again applies to these layer styles and so once I double click now I can start editing and there's four different types of layer styles you can edit none of the rest of them are editable but these are drop shadow so I can click on that get a drop shadow and I can unclick the others to see what it's like with just the drop shadow and um, I can see bevel, I can apply bevel, but I can apply those cumulatively and I can preview them or not and I can adjust them all like the drop shadow, I can make it bigger or smaller, etc. I can make the angle different. And so you can mess with all those, that's a whole nother set of effects. So we got those and then finally there's some of these other very cool ones um, which are just uh, photo effects. So here's an interesting old photo effect. So let's try double clicking on that one and it's a little gnarly. Now unfortunately these you can't edit and so I'm going back to open. How about this old photo? Well it didn't work too well with this this drawing with this picture. How about vintage photo? Well, that's a little. Now that looks a little more um, realistic, I suppose. I don't know. In any case, so those are a whole other set of effects. Um, and then finally, if you click on this XX FX button by itself, it just gives you all the possible different effects. The only thing that might be a little confusing is because the um, filter effects and the layer styles are all editable in different ways so it may be um, a little bit confusing and by, and by the way one last thing about all these different effects and each of these by the way apply to a given layer so you can all you have to do is select the layer apply that effect so um, but one last thing I was going to say about the um, layer styles is you can also go to layer and layer style and then style settings and then that gives you these four different ones that are editable which is drop shadow glow bevel and stroke and you can apply any of those and um, mess with the different uh, settings etc alright so that's just um, all kinds of things that you can do with effects and I'll just let you play with them and knock yourselves out but it's one of the most powerful things in Photoshop elements